The Woman Who Lost Her Dumpling Once upon a time, in a little village in old Japan, there lived a poor woman who loved to make rice dumplings. Yuki, these dumplings are so good. Why don't you have more customers? <laughs> I need a bigger restaurant for that. I guess you need money for that, huh? You poor dear. How do you manage? <laughs> look at this dumpling. Doesn't it look funny? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> what? It's funny. I don't get how you can laugh when we're being so serious. <laughs> Yuki was a very happy woman. She loved to laugh and was easily tickled at anything funny. One day, when the rice seemed less and the chances of getting good money seemed even worse, Yuki was smiling and humming while making her rice dumplings. Mm -hmm -hmm, hot and round, soft and squishy, let's make dumplings nice and tasty. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Oh! Yuki was most surprised as her rice dumpling rolled away and across the floor and went down into a small hole. <laughs> My little dumpling plays hide and seek with me. Well, now let's get you, shall we? Hmm, hmm, where is it? At that moment, the little hole on the floor widened up and Yuki found herself falling down a deep tunnel of a million bright colors. Ah! Yuki dropped into another land. She stood up and soon saw that she was in a beautiful meadow with luscious green grass. Wow! This is so beautiful! I wonder where I am. When she looked up at the sky, she saw clouds of different shapes. <laughs> that cloud looks like a cat. Oh, what a funny face. <laughs> hmm. That one looks like a dumpling. Oh, my dumpling. Oh, I have to find it. Where did it go? Yuki went down a dusty road, calling out for her lost dumpling. Little dumpling, little dumpling, where did you roll off to? Oh, what's this? There stood a very tall and stoic-looking statue. Oh my, such huge eyes. Looks really strange. <laughs> Who are you calling strange, little woman? And up in the air, rose the spirit of the statue. You really think I'm strange? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be, well, mean. I mean you really do have lovely eyes. Really? Totally. Really big and bright. Beautiful. Well, I don't mean to brag, but yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, I guess you can see well, too. Did you by any chance see a little dumpling rolled down by this road? A dumpling? Oh, yeah. It rolled and went down that way. That's my dumpling. I have to go after it. Huh? But it's just a dumpling. You can always make more. No, I can't. I need that little dumpling of joy for my restaurant. <laughs> well, goodbye. I'd better go after my roly-poly dumpling. And away she went, running after her lost dumpling. As she went further down the path, she came to another statue. Hmm, where did my dumpling go? Maybe she saw where it went. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Uh, uh, hello? Hello? And who are you? The name's Yuki, and I'm looking for my lost dumpling. That dumpling was yours? 
Ah, oh, it smelled so good. I nearly rolled after it myself. Did you see it? Did you really see it? Where did it go? That way, it hopped and rolled down this road. Ah, uh, that means I have to run more. All righty. Thank you so... <sighs> Just then, they saw a huge monster coming their way. He was blue from top to bottom and growled like a gorilla. But he had a funny nose that twitched every few minutes. And this Yuki noticed. Oh, look! It's Oni! <laughs> His nose is so silly. <laughs> don't tell him that. He doesn't like it. Why don't you hide behind me and let's give him a surprise? Yuki hid herself carefully behind the statue and made sure the Oni couldn't see her. Hello, ma'am. I see you're out today. Oh, 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 it's such a sunny day. I thought I'd just stretch a bit. <laughs> well, I'm off on my walk. Ah, such a wonderful breeze. <laughs> and as he smelled the air, his nose started to twitch. Yuki, who was peeping out, saw this and started to giggle uncontrollably. <laughs> Puppy nose. <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> Who's that? And why do I smell human? <laughs> Surprise. It is a human. Hmm. Uh, what are you doing? I mean, it looks like a dog sniffing its bone. She smells like a dumpling. And the kind I just saw and ate up. You ate it? Why didn't you offer it to me? Look at the amount of food people offer you. Just look at it. You don't even eat it. But that dumpling smelled delicious. <laughs> and it definitely was. <laughs> Thank you. I made it. You did? Well, that dumpling was super tasty. You must make some more for us. This place has nothing but raw cabbage and fish rolls. Ugh, that doesn't sound good. That's because it isn't. Then I'll make some for you. Show me a place to cook. Come to my place. And why don't our other friends come too? Let's have a party in the evening. Ooh, a party, yes! So the Oni took her across a river, all the way back to his place and into the kitchen. Whoa, this place is huge! Fit for an Oni like me. So, you need rice, right? This sack contains rice, but it's not the ordinary type you get back in the human world. <laughs> How special could rice be? Well, for one thing, it's golden. And secondly, you only need to put a single grain into the pot and it will multiply when cooking. So, I don't actually have to cook? Nope, it's that easy. Well, whatever else you need is in this kitchen. I have to go and call the other people now. Happy cooking! The Oni left, and Yuki soon started to cook. Well, let's make the dumplings. This place is beautiful, and the guardians outside are fun to talk to. I may just like this place. <laughs> and as the Oni had said, when she took the single rice grain and started to stir it in the pot, it soon multiplied and the pot was full of steaming hot rice. This is amazing! Making the dumplings will be easy peasy for me. Yuki soon came out with all the dumplings. Everyone had gathered there and smelled them with delight. Oh, yum! They smell delicious! Give me one! Give me one! Yuki spoke and laughed with everyone and completely enjoyed herself. Everyone, on the other hand, 
really enjoyed the dumplings she had made. These are the most amazing dumplings I have ever eaten. <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> I'm glad you like them. But as the day started to end, Yuki wanted to go home. She wondered about her restaurant. The Oni saw her looking a bit worried. What's wrong, Yuki? Are you hungry? Didn't you get any dumplings to eat? Oh no, I ate so much, my tummy's ready to pop. <laughs> no, I just think it's time I went home. Home? But then, who will cook for us? What are you asking her, you inconsiderate buffoon? She must go home. But, but uh, I love those dumplings. How about she teaches us how to make these yummy-licious treats? Yuki, would you mind staying with us one more day? Oh, not at all. I would love to teach you. Shall we try making dumplings right now? <laughs> Can we try it tomorrow? I am a little bit too stuffed to uh, move. The next day, Yuki taught them all to make dumplings. Look at mine! It looks amazing! Mine looks really bad. I wonder if it tastes good. <laughs> and? Yep! Tastes super good! Soon, it was time for Yuki to go. All her new friends wished her goodbye. Here, Yuki. Take this sack of rice for yourself. I hope it reminds you of us. Yay! Golden rice for a golden life. I will never, ever forget any of you. Goodbye, everyone. She went into the boat and put the bag down safely. She started to paddle away, singing happily to herself. Through the meadows and down the hills, this is where I roam. Now I paddle all the way back to my dumpling home. La 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 la. Yuki soon reached the bank of the river. Yes, reached halfway. She ran fast up the dusty road and soon came to the meadow. Now, what do I do? No clue how to get back. Well... Since I'm here, I might as well eat a delicious dumpling. Oh, not again. But just then, a hole opened up in the middle of the ground, and Yuki was sucked into it. Wow! I'm back up the rainbow tunnel. <laughs> oh! Finally, she was back home. Ah! Home sweet home. Now... Let's make dumplings! She started cooking many yummy dumplings from the huge sack of rice. Soon she started selling lots of them, and her customers slowly increased. Yuki was soon a very rich lady. Oh, Yuki, this place is beautiful, but you do sell very strange-looking dumplings, you know that? This one looks a bit funny, actually. What is it? Looks like an Oni. Boo! <laughs> Yuki was still the same as before. Well, maybe a little more happier. <laughs>